yes welcome children this is my second video on atomic structure that is chapter 4 and uh, first second part of it so the next topic we have to do is chemical symbol now children there are many examples where we use short names or abbreviations in daily life uh, situations in the similar way in chemistry shortened forms of the names of elements are present which are known as simples so children for elements we write some short forms and the, we call them as symbol and uh, uh, the ancient alchemist were using the few difficult and complicated symbols for elements and compounds which are shown below so in the ancient times children these different symbols were used to uh, represent these various elements or compounds say for example for a gold a circle a yellow circle was used and these different symbols for different elements and compounds are been given so children but they were difficult to remember and as the number of elements increased they were even difficult to name such symbols then john dalton proposed the use of symbols to represent the atom of various elements so children john dalton he proposed that uh, the name should be given to each elements in a short form which is the symbol so children there was some uh, theory which was given by john dalton and first is that first uh, point in its dalton's atomic theory was that matter is made up of tiny particles called atoms then matter atoms are indivisible atom cannot be divided into further simpler then atom cannot be created nor destroyed then atoms of the same elements are identical in mass and other properties and atoms of different element differ in their masses and properties so these are some theory points or these are some postulates given by john dalton now children there is a list of some symbols derived from english names of the elements and these are very important symbols and children if you want to do well in chemistry you have to learn all these symbols otherwise you will not be able to do well in chemistry because this is very important to learn all these symbols now children there are some name of elements given and their symbols are given say for example the symbol for hydrogen is h for helium it is h e then lithium it is l i carbon c nitrogen n oxygen o fluorine f neon n e magnesium m g aluminium a l silicon s i phosphorus p sulfur s chlorine c l argon a r calcium c a manganese m n nickel n i zinc z n bromine b r krypton k r iodine i barium b a radium r a these are the names of children some symbols and these symbols are derived from their english names now children there are some elements there are some list of symbols which are been derived from the latin names of elements although we are naming them with english uh, symbol but they are been derived from latin name like for sodium the symbol is na because its latin name is natrium so the latin name of uh, sodium is natrium and for potassium its symbol is k which came from its latin name kalium iron is ferrum and its symbol is fe copper as its latin name is cuprum so it has come from cu silver ag from its name argentum gold au from its name aurum mercury hg from its name hydra gerum then lead pb from the name plumbum tin sn from the name stenum and tungsten w from the name wolfram so children these are the symbols which are derived from the latin names of the elements and you have to remember these names and you have to remember these symbols also and then children we come to how these naming system came into existence it was jj bergelius who introduced the modern system of naming elements by their symbol some elements were named on the basis of their starting letter like carbon hydrogen 
then children some elements were named on the basis of their first two letters when the first letter was already chosen say for example for cobalt we cannot name it as c because c was already given the name to carbon so we took the name as co and while writing co children the first letter was written in capital and the second alphabet was written in co so cobalt is c capital o small then O S that is osmium, and two letters were chosen because C and O were already named for carbon and oxygen. Then some elements were named on the basis of their Latin names like K for potassium, since its Latin name is calcium, and A for sodium, since its Latin name is natrium. So children, these names came from the Latin name. So. these are the names which we received from their latin names and this is how these symbols were named so children now we come to the significance of these symbols when we write any symbol say when we write uh, h or any symbol it represents first the name of that element it also tells us an atom of an element so it represent that h means it is one atom of hydrogen then it also represent convenience to write the name of an element it is very convenience to write the name of an element in its short form and it requires less time and space also so to write hydrogen in full and to write hydrogen as its symbol it takes less time and it is much convenience and it represent the name of an element it represents one atom of an element it is convenient to write and it requires less time and space to write also now children the next topic we have to study is atomicity atomicity is defined as the number of atoms present in one molecule of an element children this definition you have to learn atomicity is defined as the number of atoms present in a molecule of an element two or more atoms of same kind combined together to form molecule of an element for example hydrogen h2 chlorine c2 cl2 bromine br2 iodine i2 nitrogen n2 etc those molecules which contains only one atom like helium sodium potassium they are known as monoatomic molecules and those which contains more than one atom they are called as polyatomic these polyatomic molecules are known as diatomic triatomic tetraatomic and so on for example children monoatomic molecules exist in isolated form or they are existing only alone or only one atom of them are present like helium neon argon krypton all these are existing as monoatomic molecule then diatomic molecule they contain two atoms combined together like hydrogen h2 nitrogen n2 oxygen o2 chlorine cl2 then children triatomic molecules mean those molecules which contains three atoms combined together for example in ozone the formula of ozone is o3 then tetra molecule atomic molecule tetra atomic molecule contains four atoms for example uh, phosphorus and that is p4 so it contains four atoms combined together and if you have more than that children then we can call them polyatomic or in different form now children there are some questions which are been asked in this worksheet and the questions are uh, number 1 name the scientist who proposed that matter is made up of small particles called parmanus so children the scientist name is kannad k n a d then name the scientist who first used the term atoms so it was used by john dalton and gave who gave the modern system of naming so the modern system of naming was given by j j bergelius as we have just studied now children we have to complete this table and the uh, by their symbol and their latin name so sodium will write na and its latin name will write natrium potassium will write capital k and its latin name will be kalium then iron will write fe and its latin name will be ferrum then silver will write ag latin name argentum then lead will write pb latin name plumbum 
then children there are uh, give examples of the following for monoatomic element children you can write helium neon as given here in the example for diatomic you can write uh, hydrogen h2 n2 for triatomic you can write ozone and for tetraatomic children you can write p4 then atom is electrically neutral explain so children as we have studied in the first video that an atom is electrically neutral because the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons so we can say an atom is electrically neutral neutral because the positive protons is equal to the negative electron then phillips dash is defined as the number of atoms present in a molecule of an element so children will write atomicity atomicity is defined as the number of atoms present in one molecule of an element and the short form of an elements are known as chemical symbols this is what we have just studied so children now there is one chart given over here children we are leaving this chart uh, and will continue ahead but uh, first column of carbon we can write but for others we'll uh, see later for carbons 12 and 6 is given so 12 is, will be its atomic mass over here so atomic number you will write 6 atomic mass number you will write 12 and proton you will write that is equal to atomic number which is 6 number of electrons and protons are equal so you will write 6 and neutrons you subtract 12 from 6 you will get 6 so first column we are filling the next uh, uh, will do later now children the next topic given over here is the periodic table now children as you all know that we have many elements about 115 known elements and there are still many more elements which are coming and which are being either which are occurring naturally or which are being made by man so there are so many elements so what we have done we have classified these elements or we have put these elements into a form of a table in the form of rows and column and this table we called as a periodic table so it is a table or chart in which all the known elements are arranged in such a way that the elements with similar properties are grouped together in the same vertical column and dissimilar elements are separated from each other so this is just an idea of periodic table children now we come to the next term in the atomic structure that is the orbit and children you might have seen that the uh, that electron revolve around the nucleus in definite energy shells which are known as orbits they are also known as energy levels or shells so the other name of orbit is are energy levels and shells and electronic configuration children electronic configuration means the arrangement in which electrons arrange themselves in various orbits is called electronic configuration so the distribution of electrons in different shells or in different orbits is called as electronic configuration then we have valence shell so the children the last shell of any atom the last shell or the last orbit of any atom is called as the valence shell so the last shell is known as the valence shell and then we have the valence electron the valence electrons means children the electrons present in the last shell that is the electrons present in the valence shell so the electrons present in the valence shell are known as valence electrons and to understand the electronic structures of first 20 elements of the periodic table let us remember a magic number details to be done in higher classes so we have to just see that uh, the last element which is having an electronic configuration of 2882 that makes 20 atomic uh, number and 20 number of electrons it will be distributed as 2882 so 2882 is the electronic configuration or the distribution of electrons in different shells now children this is just an idea of the periodic table which we discussed and we'll study it later now children if you see this uh, that uh, the simplest representation to explain the structure of first 20 element is as follows there are four energy levels so till atomic number 20 we have only four shells and the center part is called as the nucleus then the first shell is called k then the next is l m n so 
देर आर फोर एनर्जी लेवल्स के बींग द क्लोजेस्ट टू न्यूक्लियस हैज मैक्सिमम एनर्जी इट कैन होल्ड टू इलेक्ट्रॉन द नेक्स्ट शेल इज एल विच इज एट अ स्लाइटली हायर एनर्जी लेवल देन के इट कैन अकोमोडेट एट इलेक्ट्रॉन द नेक्स्ट शेल इज एम विच हैज मोर एनर्जी लेवल देन energy then l it can accommodate eight electrons and the last shell is n it has a maximum energy compared to other shells and can accommodate two electrons only this we are talking children till atomic number 20 and for other elements for greater atomic number we'll study later so children if you see that uh, unless the lower energy levels are completely filled electrons cannot move on to the higher energy level if k shell is not completely filled electrons cannot move to l shell so the first the electrons will get filled from the k shells onward when this shell gets filled the energy level the next energy level electrons will be filled in that so children electronic structure of elements figure shows the first 20 elements in periodic table order the atomic number in electronic structure of each element is written below its symbol when the first shell is full at helium electron moves to the second shell so the electronic structure of lithium is 2 1 beryllium is 2 and 2 boron is 2 3 etc when the second shell is full at neon electron starts to fill the third shell and so on so children if you see this chart in this chart the elements from atomic number 1 to 20 are given in the first shell when we have only one shell there are two elements hydrogen and helium and hydrogen has one electron so in its first shell will fill one electron helium has two electron then in atomic number 3 from lithium we have two shells 2 and 1 so in the first shell there will be two electron then one electron beryllium beryllium has four electrons so it will have two and two electrons boron has five two three carbon has six two and four nitrogen has seven two five oxygen eight two six fluorine nine two seven and neon has ten that is two and eight now the second shell is filled so we'll move on to the third shell in the third shell the first element is sodium which is going to have 11 electrons so 2 8 and 1 magnesium 12 with 2 8 and 2 aluminum 2 8 and 3 silicon 2 8 and 4 phosphorus 2 8 and 5 sulfur 2 8 and 6 chlorine 2 8 and 7 argon 2 8 8 so now the third shell is filled now we'll move on to the fourth shell that is potassium 2 8 8 1 and calcium 2 8 8 2 so these are elements from atomic number 1 to atomic number 20 and this is how their atomic structures will be made children i'll show you the atomic structures of all these elements on my separate assignments and we'll know how the structures of these atoms are made so children if we see this table we'll finish this uh, video after finishing this table now there are some fill ups which are to be and done accordingly now children the first is carbon and in carbon children if you see that uh, element carbon is given so you have to see its symbol is c and atomic number is 6 so its electronic configuration will be you have to divide 6 so it will be 2 and 4 2 will come in the k shell and in the l shell you have four electron and how many number of shells are there two and four k and l two for aluminum its atomic number is 13 so electrons will be distributed at 2 8 and 3 k 2 l 8 m 3 so number of shells are three oxygen formula is o atomic number is 8 so electrons will be 2 and 6 so how many shells 2 magnesium mg atomic number is 12 and its electronic distribution is 2 8 and 2 so number of shells are 3 then potassium its formula is k atomic number is 19 electronic distribution is 2 8 8 1 number of shells are 4 and in the same way children you can see the other also so children here we end this uh, video and will continue 
uh, the next part of this chapter in the third video